We're at Marlene Watson's studio, and she's going to show us something really old, but you're bringing it back. It's resin. Really, Patty, this has been around for a lot of years, like 30 years. But one of the guys that uh, has the resin company said, let's bring some of these projects back again. And they're so much fun to do. They are. Now, I used to have one of these on my coffee table. I think everybody did. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are so clever. And I look at this, and I think, well, now, there's no way I could do this. But you think there is oh, a way but we it's can easy. do this. Okay. Well, show okay. us how. Well, we're going to start out with just now. When we first did these years ago, they had a special mold for them. But now I'm just using the little glass Christmas balls, oh. and they work just fine. So you just pull the little top off. Yeah, just pulling that little top off. Uh -huh. And I keep these. I think I've got to do something with them, but I haven't figured out anything yet. So. I'm sure you will. <laughs> and I'm going to pour eight ounces of resin. Um, I've found that eight ounces will pour about three of the balls. Okay. Now, I see it has a few little bubbles in there, and none of these that you finished have bubbles. What no. do you do about bubbles? As the resin heats, then the bubbles start disappearing. Oh, okay. And we're putting about uh, 30 drops to this. You want to put, well, I got a few squirts in there, so we'll do a little extra, but you want about 30 to 32 drops to 8 ounces, 3 to okay. 4 drops per ounce. And then I want a purple color, so I'm just putting in about 3 drops of blue, because you know our color chart says blue and red makes purple. That's right. And you know this can vary. If you want them lighter or darker, you just put in different amounts of color. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different colors. Has to be stirred really good because that catalyst has to be mixed all the way through for them to harden evenly. Okay. I see you've bought the bulk here. <laughs> right. It comes all the way from tiny little half pints on up to the gallon size, okay. but the gallon size is much cheaper in the long run, you know, to use. So if I'm going to do just a little paperweight, I don't have to go and buy a half a gallon no, or No, so. you could just buy a half pint or a pint. Okay. And then I've made a funnel, and I oh. wanted a funnel I could just throw away. How clever! So that's just out of an empty glue bottle. How smart, Marlene. I don't know if I would have thought of that. Well, this is really hard to clean up, so you don't want to have anything that you're going to have to clean up. You want to be able to throw it away. Okay. Okay, and then we're just going to put the funnel in and pour the resin in until it comes up to the neck of the wow. bottle. Oh, that's so simple. Now, I thought this was going to be a really hard project, and you've simplified it so that we can all do it. And we want to bring it up till it's just up to the neck, but not through the opening. Because you don't want to have that little extended area out whenever you get ready to put it together. When it hardens, there's no changing it, right? Right. <laughs> okay, now see how that's just barely up to the opening there. Oh, okay. I'm so everything that's outside of the ornament, will, it will be okay because we're going to shatter right. the glass. Yeah. Wow. You know, just when I think I've seen everything, Marlene comes up with something I have never done or never seen before. When we did these years ago, we uh, also made them into lamps. We hung them on a chain. Oh, yeah. And put little lights in through them, and they were really pretty into lamps. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at those two for right now. Well, speaking of lamps, you know, we were talking earlier that we le would love to figure out how to make lava lamps. You think we could figure that sure, out? Sure, we can do that. <laughs> okay, now I have two that have already set for overnight. These need to actually dry at least 24 hours. Okay. And if you can hear yeah. the rattle. Oh, so that shrinks. Yeah, so it's actually a loose from the glass. <sighs> now we want to break the glass off. Please take it. Had to do that. And I usually work over a trash can or down in something because that glass does shatter. Oh, so you're just clicking them together. Yeah, I'm just clicking them together. And you're not wearing gloves or anything. No, just being careful because you know this is sharp, so you want to be careful. It'd be this hard is, to work, I think, with gloves. This with is these. not a child's craft. No, it isn't. Okay. Okay. Then when you get them to this point, you want to drill them, and um, this is drilled with a three eighths inch bit because that is what would accommodate this size wire. Now, whatever okay. wire you're using, you just want to have a little bit larger hole than the wire is. Okay. And it's about a half inch down into the ball. And see how you can see the white down in here? Mm -hmm. Well, what's nice about this is whenever you put the resin in. Oh, it's going to color that and make it almost invisible. Yeah, isn't it? it does. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And then I'm just going to have enough resin just to go ahead and fill up that cavity. Okay. And then just stick the wire in, and it's mm -hmm. going to set that way overnight until it wow. cures. And let's move these over a little bit now so okay. we can 
get the finishing parts Oh, you're going to put it here. on to a piece of wood. Now, where'd you find this wood? This, you can buy these in the craft stores. Okay. And we just drilled a lot of holes. I think, I can't remember, I think it was a quarter inch hole. I can't remember what we drilled in this, but you mm -hmm. just want it big enough that two wires will go through. Okay. And you're going to start it by putting a wire through one side and then come over to the other side and put a wire through that same hole. Mm-hmm. Here, hold that one. Okay. Okay, and just pulling them up pulling together up. Mm -hmm. and then just wrapping it around and twisting them. Aha! Uh -huh. And then just cut off the excess until you get the whole limb covered. How smart! And then if you have any little places that the wire is showing, I've just glued these grape leaves in just to cover the wire. Uh huh. Well, let me ask you one more thing. Whenever I'm drilling the holes in the, the grapes, how, how are you holding those? Or do you have a clamp? Put them, put them back in the box that they oh. were in so they just set up right. Okay, so it's not, it has to be, doesn't have to be so sturdy. Yeah, my husband drilled these for me. He just holds them with one hand and drills with okay. the other. The resin is soft, so it isn't like we're drilling through a hard piece of oh, wood okay. or something. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, this is a great idea. Isn't that fun? That is fun. Thanks so much, Marlene. You're welcome.